If you're not using some of the better Wanderous Physic mixes, then you are missing out on a massive power increase for whatever your build may be. So we've rounded up in this video all of what we believe to be the best different tiers to put in your Physic mix in order to help you out in your playthrough. We'll start this one off by mentioning the Crimson World Bubble tier, which actually converts the non-physical damage you receive into HP, so against spellcasting enemies, bosses, or other players, it's absolutely fantastic. This is found in the mountaintops of the Giants area, it's on a high up cliff ledge just to the south of the Giants Grave Post Grace Point, but in order to get to that ledge you have to go from the foot of the Forge Grace Point, keep running northeast from here, until you find a winding path that leads down to this cliff, but it is cluttered with enemies enemies, those hand enemies which are really horrible to fight, and it's a very small space to fight in, so if you would like to, you can also parkour your way down the cliff, as you can see me do in the video now, so you can choose the method you want to take to get this one. Next up is the Cerulean Hidden Tear, which gives you infinite FP for its duration. This one's found in Mount Gilmore by a minor Erd tree. It drops from the ulcerated tree spirit there that you have to defeat. And the easiest way to get there is going directly east from the Road of Iniquity Grace Point and making your way to the minor Erd tree. The next one is the Opaline Bubble Tear. This one gives you a damage shield or bubble effect that absorbs the next hit you take. This is found in the Weeping Peninsula on the island below Limgrave. It's beneath the minor Erd tree that's there and is dropped by defeating the Erd tree avatar boss that's in that area. If you don't want to use the Opaline Bubble Tear though, you could instead use the Crimson Bubble Tear that will restore your HP when you become near death, which you could argue is better than the Opaline version. This is found by defeating the Erd Tree Avatar at the Minor Erd Tree in the eastern area of the mountain tops of the Giants, so you can choose if you want a damage shield to prevent a hit or a buff to heal you when you become low. Next up is the Shrouded Tears, which have a Magic, Lightning, and Holy variant. These give you around 20% extra extra attack for either your magic spells and weapons, or your holy or lightning damage spells or weapons. This is a fantastic one to have and will be the core of most magic builds. You need to defeat the Erd Tree avatar that's in the Leonia of the Lakes, under the minor Erd Tree, which is found just to the east of the Mausoleum Compound site of Grace Point, and you'll get all three versions. Next up is the Green Burst Crystal Tear that gives you a temporary stamina recovery boost. This is dropped by a Erd Tree Avatar boss found at the minor Erd Tree in Kaled to the east of the Smoldering Church. Watch out for other little mobs along the way as you will get ambushed. Next we have to mention the Stone Barb Crack Tear. This doesn't last for very long but it does make your attacks more likely to break the enemy's poise which is what causes them to be knocked over. And this is obtained by defeating a Putrid Avatar which is near the other minor Erd Tree in Kaled which is easily accessible from the Fort Faroth Grace Point to the east. This next one is the Dexterity Knot Crystal, great for any dex build as it gives you plus 10 while it's active. It can be found on a small island to the northwest of the Scenic Isle Grace Point in the Leonia of the Lakes area. There's also the Strength Knot Crystal tier if you're a strength build for a nice plus 10 strength. This is found on Stormhill to the northeast of the Stormhill Shack near the cliff edge. Just run your way there and look for it and you'll find it quite easily. Let us know down in the comments if you plan to farm any of these out to enhance your build in Elden Ring, and of course let us know if there's any other crystal tiers that you find particularly good, and of course don't forget to click a like while you're down there and subscribe for all the other Elden Ring videos like the one on the screen now that we think will be really really helpful for you guys, and you should definitely click on it and find out more.